Hi, I'm Jonathan Osting, a political reporter with MLive. I'm here with Emily Lawler, also of MLive. We're going to try and break down for you today the ongoing saga of State Rep Todd Corser and Cindy Gamrat. It's a really complicated story, and there's three main storylines that we've been following. Uh, one of those, of course, is the alleged extramarital affair and subsequent cover-up. Emily, tell us a little bit about that. So the two representatives have admitted at this point to having an affair. Um, both are married, so they were cheating on their families, and they're also kind of the family values caucus, if you will. They're very conservative, so this is kind of a shock to their constituents. Um, but uh, there has also been an attempt to cover it up by sending a fake email that accused Corsair specifically of a lot of behavior that he just does not engage in. And the email doesn't work. They're busted at this point. The affair is out in the open. And there's kind of this subplot of blackmail going on. Want to talk more about that? Yeah, right. So um, this is a claim first made by Todd Corser. He says that he sent that email well under intense pressure uh, via a series of anonymous text messages. Um, he's released some of those messages publicly. I don't think all of them. And they do say things like, resign now, Todd, or we will expose this affair. Um, so it's clear somebody was sending these messages. What's not clear is who was sending them. Um, there there are a lot of theories out there, and Lab and some others have tried to get on the case, uh, but it's really difficult to track down uh, who owned what appears to be a burner phone. It's also possible that data, uh, registry data for that phone may have been manipulated at the time uh, reporters and even investigators were looking at that information. So a third storyline here um, is the House Business Office report that came out um, this week and uh, the question of what, when House Speaker Kevin Cotter knew about this situation and what he knew about it. Emily? Definitely. So the House Business Office report is really the official report on this at the at this point. What they were looking for was any misuse of state resources, um, any possible breaking of laws or breaking of House rules. Um, so, you know, they tracked down some evidence of that um, in both Corsair and Gamrat's offices. Um, they put out this report. The House has formed a special committee to look at the report. So they're being a little deliberative about that. They're meeting. They're really taking a fine tooth comb to it, I think. Um, and in the meantime, the, the question is kind of swirling of when Cotter knew about this. According to the report, Cotter's chief of staff knew about it, but Cotter himself did not um, initially when staff members had brought concerns to, to the table. So it'll be interesting, and uh, I'm looking forward to following this. Are you, Jonathan? Uh, absolutely. It's a very complicated, um, uh, tangled web here, but we're trying to weave our way through it um, so that you can understand it as well. Uh, return to MLive.com for more coverage. Check back.